want to give a deep apology out to Young and May. I'm so sorry. Her management just got up with me. They told me she got a ghost rider. They did not know anything about Tuka. She did not know. I'm so deeply, I'm so hurt and I'm so sorry that I went that far. Like Young and May, I'm sorry. It's hurting me because I just found out people write some music for you and it's crushing me to find out that Henny Hoes getting deep throat. Like I just put it together that it would takes a man to get deep throat. So you having a ghost rider, it's, it's hurting me. Tell your ghost rider, I'm gonna smack the shit out of him for saying that too. Check it, and check it out now. Well, I'll be damned. Now, King Yella, let me tell you the harsh reality. I know you Chirac Negroes sometimes just can't get and understand just simple things, but King Yella, I fuck with you, okay? However, you got to get to realize that young and may just ain't apologizing, man. Now, all them threats you say, y'all about to do this, y'all about to do that, y'all either going to have to carry on with it or y'all got to just move on. Because they are, listen, Young and May, which I believe she's wrong, okay? I'm not defending her at all. She should come out and apologize. She was out of line and out of place for even speaking about Tuka, right? And especially using it in a rap and just kind of dismissing it, talking about smoking hookah like Tuka. However, ever since she said that on Power 99 Freestyle, y'all claim y'all was going to do this, get somebody knock her out, do this, do that, come to New York, do this, ban her from coming to Chicago. Y'all have like beef with other people. Basically, now's the time is like, are y'all internet beefing or y'all really doing something? Okay, now, we do got to keep in mind that there's a bunch of people in Chicago that y'all are beefing with that live down the block that y'all ain't running after every day. Okay, let's just, let's just be honest, okay? Now, it does happen, but y'all ain't running after the ops every fucking day, okay? Right? And there's people in Chicago that has disrespected uh, Tuka, and they still alive. So I'm pretty sure y'all ain't just going extreme on Young and May. And, of course, I know Young and May is hot. And y'all just want an apology. But for whatever reason, Young and May ain't giving it, okay? Uh, from what I'm hearing, this is false, okay? I, I, I don't want to even report it to say, oh, Young and May might have a Ghost Rider. From what I'm hearing, that's not true. Okay, that's not true. That's not true. And to be honest, coming out with a slanderous thing where we know in the day and age of where we live in now, somebody having a, a ghostwriter when they're on the come up is a slanderous comment. Okay, unless you can prove who the ghostwriter is. And if Young M.A. did have a ghostwriter, y'all need to fuck up the ghostwriter for spinning that uh, Tuka line or writing that Tuka line. So somebody got to get fucked up regardless by the super gangsters out of Chirac. Regardless, man, I think it's either time y'all pull up to New York or let this thing go. I'm sorry to say, King Yella, you gonna let it go or you pulling up, all right? Again, Young and May, you should apologize. I don't know why you haven't apologized. I don't know why, but we'll see. Again, come on, you guys like them, you subscribe. According to King Yella, Young and May got a ghost rider and he ain't beef with her no more. From what I'm hearing, he's full of shit. He's kind of just saying that to kind of get a response from her because she's not responding to shit. All right, get in the comments, get in the comments, definitely subscribe to Boy Jackie Demix. Happy Christmas to all y'all. I'm out.